It is such a sin that I wasn't wearing this shirt the whole time. Uh, just ignore the giant stain up here. I'm not really sure what that is. Keeping it classy, keeping it classy. Howdy y'all, how the heck's it going? Good day to you. <laughs> I'm already embarrassed for saying that, but it felt so wrong not to, you know? My trusty cowboy hat and I welcome you to a westerny, boho, deserty themed video today. This set was inspired not only by my love of the western aesthetic and lifestyle, but also by this box of Painted Desert Nails. Painted Desert has some of the cutest branding in my opinion, so dang now, but I just had to base this set off of it. I understand that this set is very kitschy, it's not exactly everyone's style, considering it's barely a style at all. It's more of a mis- mis- mishmash? Mixmash? It's more of a jumble of 10 different designs, but that's okay. <laughs> Just let me indulge in my country fantasies, okay? So let's saddle up and get into the set. I'm starting off with all of my base colors, all of which are from iGel Beauty, and these tips are the Apre Sculpted Stiletto Medium. Despite having planned this set for an embarrassing amount of hours, I still managed to regret my choice of base colors nearly immediately. But as they say, trust the process, right? Well, let's just say that the process cheated me. I'll be the first to admit that my first crack at some of these nails left more than a little to be desired. I ended up scrapping this blue color from the set entirely, so just pretend it's orange, okay? I kind of felt like I was just forcing it into the set, so I ended up just peeling that nail off and applying a new one, but doing the same design on it. That is yet another perk of doing your nails using peel off base. If you want to see how I apply my nails using that, I will leave a link in the description and in the top right corner. But in the meantime, the first nail I was starting off with is this uh, deserty sunset nail. So I'm kind of doing the hills in the background, going from the lightest color and layering the darker and darker shades over top of it, and using my Apre oval brush to get the desired uh, waviness that I wanted. Here you can see a sneak peek of the middle nail that I ended up hating. In my opinion, that nail was a hot mess without any of the heat. As I painted the rest of the hills on this ring finger, all I could do was catch glimpses of this middle fingernail and grimace. I was still trying to trust the process though because the design on that nail wasn't quite done yet. Once I added the final touch though, it was finally time for me to acknowledge the corn and realize that this nail wasn't working out. I transitioned back over to the sunset nail to see if any inspiration would strike because I think it was a good idea to leave that nail alone for a while because as they say, if you find yourself in a hole, just stop digging. I wanted this pinky to have a kind of cottagey little floral vibe, so here I am just using my dotting tool to paint on these cute little flowers. Then I'm transitioning over to a smaller dotting tool and poking the little centers of the flowers in. And as I said, I ended up switching the color scheme of this nail entirely, but this is still the exact same method I used to do the design. With my Ugly Duckling Detailer 2 brush, and as I say often, I do like the Young Nails Micro Detailer better, but this is the one I have on hand. I'm just using the very, very tip of it to paint some little leaves on each of the flowers. Boho designs often have a lot of hand-drawn looking patterns to them, so I didn't care too much about how even these little zigzags were, so I just slid all of those on pretty easily. As you can see, I pretty much entirely gave up on this nail, so I just had a little hoe down with my buffer and took off as much of the color as I thought I needed to, then covered it with my Eye Gel Beauty white gel polish, and I strategically placed my cow spots wherever I saw some color poking through. There was a couple little bits of color poking through at the cuticle area, so I tried to cow hide them with this little cuff design. Though I definitely think it would have looked better if it didn't have the cuff at all. I call this design polka dots, but if you are constantly sneezing. They are by no means evenly spaced, and I found that the best way to achieve the look was to slide your dotting tool just a little bit, as if you were like flinching because you were sneezing. Transitioning on over to my other hand, I'm doing a nail that's a similar vibe to the sunset one. 
but in my desert timeline, this nail occurs later into the night when the stars have started to emerge. Again, using the same hills, then taking my detailer brush to draw a little cactus in the foreground. Once my cactus was looking nice and sharp, I moved over to my ring finger where I tried my hand at some boho kind of arches. I don't know why this was such a common pattern in this uh, theme, but I didn't mind it. I think they're cute. I do hate painting curved lines though, so this was a little bit awkward, but we made it through. We made it through. I kind of wanted to do horseshoes in my in my mind, but then I realized that takes a lot more precision. So I decided to do something like this where it was a little more uh, freehand and it was intentionally supposed to look doodly. Then once I did that one, I felt like this middle finger needed a little more yellow to it, so I added some cute little stars in the sky. For the pinky and the thumb, I recreated two of the designs that were on the other nail, which is the zigzags and the dots, but I did switch the colors around on them, so it kept things different, but also matching. I also just really wanted a nail that was fully this orange color again, because I grew obsessed with it very quickly. These were supposed to be summer nails, but the orange made me think of fall, and I think that's why it made me happy. Be forewarned, my fall sets are starting August 31st. Finally, on this last nail, my index finger, I'm scattering some stars all across it. Then I went ahead and finished everything off with a shiny top coat. If you think I had a hog killing good time doing these up today, well, you're darn tootin'. Here is the finished look. Again, I know, kind of a chaotic vibe and definitely very kitschy. Not everyone's style, but they're my style, and that's all that matters, right? Hopefully you enjoyed yourself even half as much as I did putting this together. That's it for this video. Make sure to give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to hang out with me again. I promise, the jokes are always this bad. And hey, if you know any cowboys, send them my way. <laughs>